Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Thanks for joining us tonight as we continue to rev things up with films about that venerable vehicle known as Herbie, the little Volkswagen with a warm, warm heart. Well, we just showed the original Herbie film, The Love Bug, which came out of the Disney Studios in 1969. That became Disney's biggest moneymaker of that year. So there was, of course, a sequel, three, as a matter of fact. But what is surprising is that the first sequel didn't hit theaters until 1974, five full years after that initial box office bonanza. The title of the sequel is Herbie Rides Again, and we have it coming up next. And it comes with the same director attached, who also directed the original, Robert Stevenson, but the cast is completely different than the one in the first movie, except for Herbie, of course. In the first film, Herbie lived with race car driver Jim Douglas and his buddy Tennessee Steinmetz, played by Dean Jones and Buddy Hackett. Well, this time around, Jim and Tennessee are out of the country, and Herbie has been left in the care of Tennessee's elderly aunt, played by no less than the woman fondly known as the first lady of the American theater, Helen Hayes. Now, originally, the lead was going to be Walter Brennan, playing Grandpa Steinmetz, but Brennan died just before filming began. So the story was tweaked a bit, and Grandpa Steinmetz became Auntie Steinmetz, with Helen Hayes successfully wooed to play the part. In the story, Dear Auntie starts being threatened by an evil land developer who wants to build a shopping mall right over the historic firehouse where she lives. Well, Herbie's grease pan starts boiling and his motor whirling when a loved one is being threatened, so very soon it's Herbie to the rescue. Here with the cast, it also includes Ken Berry, Stephanie Powers, and Keenan Wynn. Terrific people. From 1974, Herbie Rides Again. Helen Hayes, who played Andy Steinmetz, is one of only nine people to win an Oscar, a Tony, an Emmy, and a Grammy. Those others being Richard Rogers, John Gielgud, Audrey Hepburn, Marvin Hamlish, Jonathan Tunick, Mel Brooks, Rita Moreno, and Mike Nichols. Helen Hayes first started out on the Broadway stage when she was only nine years old, and soon after she became one of the biggest stars on Broadway. She spent a few years in Hollywood in the 30s, during which time she won an Academy Award for her first sound film, The Sin of Madeleine Claudet. But she didn't feel she and Hollywood were a very good mix, and very soon she was back on Broadway, only returning to the screen sporadically in her middle and later years. But the later years included several movies for Disney. She loved doing them, she said, because it impressed her grandchildren that grandmother worked for Walt Disney. Incidentally, her son James MacArthur was a Disney star in the 60s, most notably appearing in Disney's 1960s version of Swiss Family Robinson. Up next, Herbie reunites with his original co-star Dean Jones in the third film about the venerable Volkswagen. 